Hello, viewers, and welcome to update number two here on Cyclone Sarai, which you can see here is just located to the southwest of the island of BT here in Fiji. It is currently having an estimated sustained winds of 70 miles an hour with a minimum central pressure estimated to be around 985 HPA, and it is located in the vicinity of 19.0 south, 176.5 east. It is just shy of hurricane status, and it is, in fact, expected to strengthen into a hurricane as the day ends up going on we could take a look at radar here this is about as close as the storm will end up getting here to the island of vt you can see the core is very well defined here although it's starting to go out of frame here as the uh, image is going on this storm is currently moving to the south and east and is actually supposed to pass uh, well to the south here uh, so the core should currently not expected to make landfall on any of the land regions that is shown on this image. We can go ahead and take a look at the Joint Typhoon Warning Center cone here. And you can see here very prominently in roughly 12 to 18 hours, the storm should strengthen into a Category 1 hurricane as it moves pretty much due south of Suva. And it's expected to slowly lose intensity and slowly move off to the east. However, that might not exactly be the case. Uh, continuing on, we could see uh, what the warnings currently are here for Fiji. If you take a look at the red and the pale colored regions here, the, the red region is the significant sustained gale force winds uh, where those are currently being experienced. Uh, the outer pale regions here, that is where uh, tropical storm force winds gusts are currently being experienced and will likely continue for the next uh, couple of hours or so. And you can see as the storm moves off to the south and east, all of the oranges are where tropical storm force winds are expected within the next 24 hours and the oranges within the next 48 hours. So keep that in mind. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look at some sea surface temperatures. And you can see here, although the image kind of cuts off because the... 180th uh, meridian is right there. However, the storm, you can see, is just starting to move out of 28 degree waters and into 27 to 26 degree waters and will remain there. That's going to halt any sort of intensification with this storm beyond Category 1. And then we could take a look at the wind shear here. You can see that it is definitely still decreasing. These blue dashed lines mean a decreasing wind shear and a decrease of at least 10 knots in the last 24 hours. Uh, however, you can definitely see that it is still moderate and it will likely be moving into an area of more moderate wind shear, which will help it weaken slowly. Now, the issue is, unfortunately, here is that this storm's future is really uncertain after the three-day mark. As we go ahead and take a look at some spaghetti models, although the cone says that the storm is supposed to track due east, there is a small possibility, a small one, it's not guaranteed yet, that the storm will end up stalling after three days, and then there's really a split. If it ends up stalling, can either follow the GFS track where it ends up just going off to the north and east and will likely be very weak or ends up backtracking over the areas that it just trekked over, which would also make the storm very weak. Uh, as of right now, no landfall is expected, so no CDPS is uh, given to this storm. However, winds, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, winds of 70 miles an hour as well as the rainfall of around 200 millimeters uh, being expected at maximum from this entire storm. So that will end up wrapping up this update here on Cyclone Sarai. If you ended up liking this video, please subscribe to us for future updates. And if you really enjoy our content, make sure to go to force13.com slash Patreon so you can go ahead and support us, or you can also become a member here on the channel. I wish everyone uh, safety here in Fiji and stay tuned for further updates as we have Cyclone Sarai continue to move through the region.